Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Maybe it's because I'm close to one of Earth's fire-breathing giants, a volcano. Volcanoes are openings in the Earth's crust, usually within a mountain, which allow magma, rocks and gases from deep within the Earth to escape to the surface. The Earth's crust is like a jigsaw puzzle of tectonic plates. Underneath the crust, there is extremely hot, molten rock, which is called magma. Sometimes, these plates crash into each other or move apart, causing friction and earthquakes. This movement causes magma to rise and pressure to build underneath the Earth's surface. When there is an opening in the crust, magma can shoot up to the surface in a volcanic eruption. Other types of volcanoes, such as the volcanoes in Hawaii, are formed when hot magma melts right through the upper surface of the Earth's crust. Once magma has erupted outside of a volcano, we call it lava. Lava is so hot that it can burn everything in its path. Lava can reach temperatures as high as 1,250 degrees Celsius. You'd want to get out the way of that. Volcanoes can be many different shapes and sizes, like steep mountains, small bumps, or even flat with a crater in the center. Some volcanoes are super active, which means they have regular eruptions, and some are dormant, which means they are quiet for now, and other volcanoes are extinct, which means they haven't erupted for thousands of years and they're unlikely to ever erupt again. When we last counted, there are about 1,350 potentially active volcanoes on Earth. And there's probably about 20 erupting right now as you watch this video. Volcanic eruptions have been shaping our planet for millions of years. These fiery events have impacted history and civilizations in many ways. You might have heard of Mount Vesuvius, which was known for its devastating eruption in 79 AD. Volcanic matter buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 was so powerful that it caused a year without a summer. Its thick ash cloud blocked out the sun, causing colder temperatures all around the world. Plants couldn't grow and crops failed. And the loudest sound in recorded history was made by a volcano called Krakatoa. When it erupted in 1883, it released as much energy as 15,000 nuclear bombs. About 350 million people across the world live within the danger zone of an active volcano. When lava and volcanic ash break down, they produce nutrient-rich soil, which is great for growing crops, making it a popular spot for farmers. There are even some species of birds which lay their eggs in the warm soil of a volcano. When the eggs hatch, the chicks claw their way to the surface. But volcanoes don't only occur on land. There are volcanoes underwater on the ocean floor and under ice caps too. Volcanoes can also be found throughout the solar system on other planets and moons. The largest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons, which is found on Mars. Aren't volcanoes so powerful, so terrifying and so fascinating? Our Earth is such an amazing place and there's always so much more to learn. Gotta go. See you next time.
If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Learning with Katie for even more fun and educational content. See you in our next video.